Hi, we have a, a guest to answer today's webmaster video question. The question comes from Jimmy at Felden, Wil Wurzberg. Nice job getting your Twitter handle in there, by the way. <laughs> Jimmy asks, hi, Matt. In a previous video, you stated that validation of HTML wasn't really important for ranking or SEO. This confuses me. Wouldn't Google really want to send its users to websites, which would be broken for a lot of them? Danny, what, how would you answer that? Well, a lot of websites can have invalid code, but actually render just fine, because a lot of modern browsers do a good job dealing with bad code. And so it's not so much that the code has to be absolutely perfect, but whether or not the page is going to render well for the user in general. So it makes sense to still list these websites. It makes sense not to be that specific. And plus, people like a lot of mistakes that, because they're using different HTML editors or maybe they're doing some hand coding, they're little tiny things that aren't going to have that big of an impact. If you were trying to be very, very specific, I suspect, and Google would certainly know, but you'd have a lot of websites that would be left out for no good reason because they would still be validated. Validating. Validating. Validating just perfectly fine. Invalidatory. Um, <laughs> So, and you were even joking a little bit about... Yeah. I did. So, you know, for example, in this question, um, there's a, a grammatical error that's in it. And I can understand what the question's about perfectly well, um, but if I were going to validate even taking questions based on them being uh, perfectly grammatically correct, then it would be lost. And so if, in that case, if you will, Google can both de understand and deal with pages that are perfectly grammatically correct or perfectly HTML correct. And it can also understand when you're being a little more casual because basically it, it understands what the page is about. Yep. So Danny nailed that. I don't really have much to add other than usually if a page doesn't validate, it, it still can look perfectly fine in the browsers, which is exactly what you said at the very beginning. So great question. Thanks for sending it in.